Hello, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. Welcome back to Let's Play The Dark Eye. We have a, another strange, uh, one more, uh, dream to go through. Before we can do that, we have to see what's going on with, uh, Uncle Edwin and Henry, now that, uh, Elise has finally passed away. But before we even do that, I want to go check out the gallery. I myself like some art. I like me some art. Art is good. Let's go see what's going on. Hmm. Hi, Raven. You've been my best friend throughout this whole thing. I hope you know that. You always soothe me and help me through these nightmares, Raven. Hmm. Any new paintings? Oh, there is one. Um... That's rather freaky. Let's, uh... Let's not even go there. She's crying tears of blood! I don't quite understand why she's crying tears of blood, but... It's edgy, so it's art! What's this? Ah! Why does our uncle enjoy drawing pictures of things that are used to kill? And maim and dismember and do horrible, horrible things to people? By the way, that portrait... Uh, of the pliers should now be in the gallery, so we're gonna go check that real quick. Just, uh, see what's going on. What kind of art's showing. Hmm. What is over here? Oh. Not just the pliers, but we also have the Annabelle Lee portrait, because we got that. Which means we should also have the Red Death portrait. If we look in the right direction. Turn around. And there's our Red Death portrait. Which basically means that the la our last dream to go here will be that portrait of the creepy saw. So... Well, that's enough looking at artwork. That's the final time we'll be looking at any artwork, by the way. That just shows your progress in the game. So, let's go see if we, uh, if we, uh, can find Henry. He's probably not in there. Actually, he's probably being emo and brooding in that room that's open to the air for whatever reason. I just don't quite get why that door, that room is open. Maybe Henry can explain why. You alright? She's alive. I know it. Uh, no, dude. I'm pretty sure she's dead. I can feel her blood flowing through the house. I hear her whisper. I hear her very heart. Um, maybe you should go talk to somebody about those grieving issues. I pounded at the door to her vault. I swear, I hear rustling within. Do you understand? She lives. I understand that you're crazy. Maybe we should go talk to our uncle about it and tell him he was right. Henry needs some severe mental help. And, uh, we gotta be the ones to give it to him. Oh, boy. Everybody's deciding to go crazy today. Decided to go crazy, I guess. And I have a feeling we might be next. Hi, Uncle. Your brother has lost his sanity. I know. Not even Amber's can restrain him. I understand you carried messages between Elise and him. Um. Then come. Carry one more. All right. I'm not so sure I like the idea of that dude. I think it might make him crazier. Hi, Raven. <sighs> I don't know if we should do this, guys. I don't think we should carry any more notes between them. 
uh, to, to, to our, our brother. I think he needs a little bit of mental rest, not notes. Such a man succumbs to delusions, it's best to bring him slowly around by way of that same delusion. He believes at least to be alive. Let him receive a letter from her. You sure that's such a good idea? Deliver him this message. Let him believe it to be from Elise. Let him read by her own hand that she is no more. I don't think that's going to help. Let's read the note. All right. It says, My dearest, dearest Henry, you alone have felt my lingering presence in this house. I must see you. Please, please meet me on the path below the cliff just after dusk. Please, my love, Elise. That doesn't look like him telling her that, her telling him that she's dead. That looks like suspiciousness. Severe suspiciousness. And I don't like it. Has everybody lost their mind but me? Is the person who sees hallucinations of people dying and getting buried alive the only sane person in the house? Seriously? For really? For reallys? For reallyos? Because that doesn't make sense. You must help me. It's a note. Here you go. After dusk. It's after dusk now. Oh great, what have we done, guys? I hope this was the right thing. I hope we really are helping my brother. Because if we're not... Seriously. Okay. Well, hi Raven. Just trying to help my brother. I tried to follow, but my haste made me clumsy. Huh. Hello? Henry? Finally, I emerged into the night. Oh dear. Great. Don't just straight up murder my brother. Just straight up murder my brother. Ah. My wrath falls with certainty. Your brother was driven to insanity by breathing paint fumes from a lantern. You carried 
messages for them. You sang and flirted with her. It's not my fault. You tried to save him. It's not my fault, I swear. Great. We just straight up watched my brother get murdered, Elise die, and my uncle go crazy. But who cares about Elise? She's dead already. My, my brother! He killed my brother! It's time for serious! And unfortunately, we can't do time for serious. We are kind of stuck in a nightmare world right now. So let's go do that final nightmare and hopefully end our suffering forever. This is really quite spooky.